In this problem, we have to multiply this out, uh, 2a minus b to the sixth, sixth power. So we're going to do this uh, using the help of something called Pascal's triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and write the triangle up here on the top right. So to start drawing the triangle, you start by putting a 1. Then you put 1s on the sides. Then you add 1 plus 1 is 2. And then you put 1s on the sides. And you're supposed to keep going, but let me just pause here and explain that this is row 0. And this is row 1. And then this is row 2. So because there's a 6 here, we have to go all the way to row 6. So it's a lot more work uh, than usual. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. One's on the sides, and let's keep going. 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, one's on the sides. So this is row 3, this is row 4, almost there. 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, one's on the sides. This is row 5. One more row and we are there. Uh, 1 plus 5 is 6. 5 plus 10 is 15. 10 plus 10 is 20. 10 plus 5 is 15. 5 plus 1 is 6. And now we have 1s on the sides. So this, my friends, is row 6. This is the row that we're going to use to help us expand this binomial. It's a binomial to the 6th power. Okay, before we use the strategy, which I'm about to show you, it's really important that this is a plus sign. So what we do is we write it as follows. This is really 2a plus, and then it's negative b in parentheses, and it's to the 6 power. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and multiply this out. So start with the 1, so 1 times, and then you take the first one and you raise it to the 6 power. So 2a to the 6. And this other one here gets raised to the 0 power always. So negative b to the 0. Then you go to the next one. So plus 6. And again, it's 2a. See, the 6 comes from here. And you count down. So this was a 6. Now it becomes a 5. Then you have the negative b. And this one goes up. So 1. So you're starting to see the pattern now, maybe. This one starts at 6 and goes down. 6, 5, the next one will be 4. Starts at 0 and goes up. 0, 1, the next one is 2. The next number is 15, so plus. The parentheses are really important. It's really important to have the parentheses. I can't, this is a really good example for that. I purposely picked one with a negative number because it's harder. So this will be 2a to the 4 because you're going down on this one. And this would be negative b to the 2. Okay, the next number is 20. So plus 20. Then it's 2a, we're going down, so it'll be 3. And then negative b, oh, we're going up, so it's 3. This next step is confusing sometimes. 15. So then it's 2a. So we say 6, 5, 4, 3. The next is 2 now because it's going down. And the other one's going up. 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's negative b to the 4. Running out of room, plus 6. 2a to the 1. Negative b to the 5. I'm going to have to come down a line here. Plus, that was the 6. Now we're at the 1. Plus 1. 2a to the 0. Negative b to the 6. Okay, now we're going to carefully simplify this. I'm going to switch colors here. So when you do the simplification, it's really helpful to do some computations on the side. So let's work on each piece one at a time. Let's focus on this. So note that anything to the 0 power is 1, OK? And then here, we basically have to multiply, uh, raise the 2 to the 6 power and raise the a to the 6 power. So 2 to the 6 is 64. If you don't know that, you know, you could use a calculator. So this would be 64 a to the 6. That's it, right? The 1 goes away, and b to the 0 is 1. This, is, this goes away because it's 1. Okay, this is key. You see how there's a negative here in the b? So whenever you have a negative 1, there's really a negative 1 here, and it's being raised to an odd power, it's always negative. So if you have negative 1 
to an odd, it's negative 1. If you have negative 1 to an even exponent, it's 1. So this is going to be minus. I'm going to go ahead and put the minus here because this is odd. It's a 1. And then now we have to deal with these numbers. This will be 6 times, and this is 2 to the 5th. Okay, So 2 to the 5th is 32. I'm just going to put it in my calculator. 6 times 2 to the 5th is a 192. So this is going to be 192. So 192. And this will be a to the 5th. And let's not forget the b. Okay, so see how I did all that on the side? Really, really key. Okay, let's focus on the sign. Oh, look, it's even. There's a negative, so it's plus. Now it's 15 times 2 to the 4th. Okay, 2 to the 4th is 16, but I'll type it in my calculator as 15 times 2 to the 4th. This is 240. So 240, a to the 4th b squared. The negative became a plus, again, because this is even. Let's go to the next one. Getting ridiculous. Oh, look, it's odd. So it'll be minus, okay, minus 20, and then 2 cubed. That's 20 times 8, which should be 160. It is. So minus 160. a cubed, b cubed. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to so now we're here. So this is done. So now we're, we're almost there. Uh, the next one's plus because it's a 4. So plus 15 times 2 to the f two squared. <laughs> There's a 2 there. So 15 times 4, so 60. That's, that's 60. Okay, 60. And then a squared, b to the 4. The next one is 5, so it's odd, so it's minus. 6 times 2 is 12. A, B to the 5. The last one is 6. It's even, so it's plus. So plus B to the 6. Wow, that's a lot of work. That would be the final answer. And the hopefully what you get from this video is to use parentheses and then just do each one at a time and like show your computations on the side. If you try to do your computations like within your work, it's a huge mess and like you won't be able to do it. And this is really messy. I can't even read my handwriting. That is a three. Yeah, okay. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.